Hello and welcome to Pirate News. I'm Alicia Pacheco. And I'm Keith Egan. In today's newscast, we will discuss upcoming Seton Hall events, your Seton Hall sports, and the five-day forecast. Today, Thursday, November 9th, Vatican-trained exorcist Father Vince Lampert will speak on his experiences with exorcisms and the demonic at 8 p.m. in the main lounge of the University Center. Father Lampert has witnessed over 40 major exorcisms and is currently the pastor of St. Malachi Catholic Church in Brownsburg, Indiana. All are welcome to attend this event and no registration is required. The Chronicle of Higher Education has ranked Seton Hall University among the top 25 of all private universities in the nation for the upward financial mobility of its students. According to the Chronicle, the mobility rate is a measure of the percentage of all students in a particular college whose parents were in the bottom 20% for household income and who've reached the top 20% for individual earnings. If you're a transfer student, then please join the Transfer Center for a pizza social in Mooney Hall, room 19 at 5 p.m. Thursday, November 16th. Make sure to come out and eat and to get to know your fellow transfer students. The seventh annual Dr. Marcia Robbins Wolf Lecture will feature Ambassador Dennis Ross on Sunday, November 12, 2017 from 3 to 5 in Jubilee Hall Auditorium. Ambassador Ross presently serves as Counselor and William Davidson Distinguished Fellow at the Washington Institute for Near East Policy. And now we'll head over to Megan Gonzalez with your Seton Hall Sports Update. Megan? Thanks, Alicia. Hey there, Pirates. This is Megan Gonzalez here with your Seton Hall Weekly Sports Update. Seton Hall junior Abby Thielen was named to the Big East Women's Volleyball Weekly Honor Roll this past Tuesday. This is the fourth time Thielen has received this distinction. Thielen led the team in kills in both matches last week and was a strong force for the Pirate offense. Against Villanova, she had 12 kills and only three attack errors, while on Saturday's victory at Georgetown, she had 17 kills, two digs, and three blocks. She also reached the 15-kill mark for the 22nd time in her career. The Pirates will be back in action on Saturday, November 11th for a contest against St. John's in Queens, New York at 2 p.m. Moving over to the pool, the Seton Hall men's swimming and diving team defeated Villanova 195-168 but was handed a 270-77 setback at Pittsburgh and a 183-186 loss to Georgetown in a quad meet hosted by Rutgers this past Friday and Saturday. Senior Noah Noah Yanchilis won the 200 free at 1 minute and 40 seconds, and junior Dakota Williams placed third in the 50 free with an impressive time of 21.11 seconds in the 200 free re re relay. William Yanchilis sophomore John DeToti and junior Chris Tucker took third with a time of 1 minute and 24 seconds, just six thousandths of a second behind the runner-up from Pittsburgh. The Pirates were returned for the Patriot Invitational November 16th through the 18th at George Mason in Fairfax, Virginia. And that's all for your Seton Hall Sports Update. I'm Megan Gonzalez, and now back with Keith and Alicia with more of the news you need to know. Thanks, Megan. Professor Jonathan Farina has published Everyday Words and the Character of Prose in 19th Century Britain through Cambridge University Press, the oldest publishing house in the world. Farina, who is founding director of Humanities and the Public Sphere in the Department of English, studies the history of fiction as a genre, as a category of knowledge. Management coach Rocky Romanello will be leading a workshop focusing on developing leadership techniques for employees to support organizational values. The program explores balanced leadership, mission and vision, expectations and accountability, stress and decision making, as well as exceptional leadership, all of which are five essential components of value-based leadership. The event will take place November 17th from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. in Walsh Library Beck Rooms on the first floor. And now we'll take it over to Brian Henno with your five-day forecast. Brian? Thanks, Keith, and hello, Pirates. I'm Brian Hennel here with your five-day weather forecast. Today is looking to be partly cloudy with a high of 56 and a low of 38. Tomorrow, things will be sunny but cooling down even more with a high of only 40 with a low of 25. Saturday will be chilly as well with a high of 43 and a low of 34 with partly cloudy skies. For Sunday, things will be warming up but there will still be showers throughout the day with a high of 51 and a low of 41. Lastly, for Monday, there will be scattered showers throughout the day with a high of 53 and a low of 38. That's all for your five-day weather forecast. Now back to Keith and Alicia with more of the news that you need to know. Thanks, Brian. The Slavic Club on November 9th from 6.30 to 9.30 in the Walsh Library's Beck Rooms will be hosting its seventh annual Dancing Bonanza. During this event, all participants will be taught Ukrainian folk dance steps as well as Russian dances. This event will introduce Slavic members, guests, and members of the shoe community to the multicultural diversity in our campus. It is free to attend and open to everybody. The Seton Hall University Faculty Retirement Group would like to invite faculty and friends to join them for Maxine Laurie's Focus for Veterans Day 
honoring veterans images of war from her book envisioning new jersey an illustrated history of the garden state will take place friday november 10th at 1 p.m in walsh beck room ab please email chris greico at greico cr at shu.edu for any questions and that concludes today's broadcast of pirate news i'm keith egan and i'm Luisi pacheco thanks for watching and have a great day